Uh, I'll bring us in. What's your bacon's meant to be very short? Answers yes. is that right? Or? Well, it's shortish. It's whatever you, however you take it, we'll we'll okay. we'll adjust to you. Whatever you want to do. You got we're it. Very, <clears throat> we're a very free form type of show. Nice. All right. Welcome everybody once again. Yes. To what's your bacon and seven questions? Ooh. Brought to you by Bacon is my podcast, where we have taken the meaning of life. Yes. And we've distilled it down to just seven questions. Right. We started with it was, what was it? It was it was twenty eight thousand four hundred sixty three questions to begin with. Right. And then we whittled it down. It was a painstaking twenty three minutes. Yes. But we did it. We got it there. Uh, and we just got it down to seven questions. Right. And today, we're going to ask those questions to comedian, writer, producer, podcaster, kazoo player, Ben Glebe. How you doing, sir? Yes, I'm very excited. And thank God I got here after the whittling took place. Yes, it's it's true. It was a long whittling session. Uh, it was weird at times. You know, question nine and question 12 were very similar. But after that, we pretty much had it. Then it was in the clear for the next couple thousand questions. Exactly, right. exactly. Are you ready, sir, to go through the seven questions of doom, of life, of Indiana Jones badassery? It's, Are you ready? It's, <laughs> no, but please feel free and continue. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to get our listeners, our our consumers, if you will, to uh, to know the nooks and crannies that is Ben Glebe. Yes, you're a muffin, and we are finding the crannies. I just ate a muffin moments ago, and then I had to get it out of my teeth. It's part of why I was three minutes late. See, yeah, look at right. that. Look at that. Fashionably late. Fashionably late. All right, so here we go. Question number one. Ben Glebe, how many pillows is too many pillows? On a bed or for sleeping with or on a couch? Well, that's kind of kind of up to you, sir. Dealer's choice. Yeah. I'm going to have to then answer. There's no such thing as too many pillows. No such thing as too many pillows. Isn't okay. a mattress a pillow? Really? I, I suppose it point. is. I think even a shag carpet could be a pillow. And I've got an ashram with probably about 70 pillows in it. So there's no limits to your imagination when it comes to imagination. I like that. Oh, I, I like, like that. that answer. I like that as well. All right, question number two. What is the perfect pizza order? It's a great question. It's a great question. I'm going to just for accuracy's sake limit it to only things pizza involved because you could okay. order side things that really make the night special. True, yes. I'm going to keep it just to pizza. The perfect pizza order is a large pizza, half cheese, with extra fresh tomatoes on one side, the other half, mm. the works, the works. We're talking mushrooms, but not like where they overcrowd the works works. And we're talking like selective works. What I mean by that, mushrooms. I mean a little bit of sausage. I mean black olives. I mean green peppers. I mean onions. And then I mean maybe little bits of pepperoni if it's chopped up and not overtaking the whole pizza, definitely adding some of the spicy stuff on it. I'm blocking the chili flakes on it. Um, maybe even spreading some red hot sauce on the pizza as well, having some ranch handy, Ooh. but using that half to be indulgent and over the top and the other half to just cleanse the palate with some basic, simple cheese, some extra Ooh, tomato. I like that. I love, I was going to ask, I was like, is the, is the plain cheese, the palate cleanser or is the other side of the experimentation? How are we looking both, at this? But, both. But yeah, you just said yeah. that's excellent. I love that. Thank you. All right. Question number three, true or false question. False. S Cereal is a soup. False. Still standing by false. Okay. We could be false. swayed either way, but that's fine. Yeah, I have All no, right. I have no, uh, I, I have nothing holding me to any answer. Yeah, uh, it's definitely not a soup. A lot of people push it to be a soup, and I think that those people, uh, those people are wrong. Those people are hammerheaded. Those people are a big problem and need to be taken <laughs> out. Be taken out. Okay. We need to remove those people. Remove them. Yeah. Remove them. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a great leg to stand on. Yeah. Uh, gift cards. Question number four. Lame gift idea or great gift idea? Both. Oh, Everyone okay. loves them. Everyone loves them. Yeah. In reality, you love when you get to use them. 
but when you receive it, it's a letdown. Okay. You wish someone had done more. You wish they would have put more thought into it, but you're like, hey, at least I get exactly what I want. But right, bad, right. Friend, but great friend. You go through the whole range of emotions. It's all, yeah, it's it's a plethora, if you will. No one's ever been like, how did you know a gift card? It doesn't <laughs> bring the to the person you don't bond with them more. But at the end of the day, you're like, damn it, I got 50 bucks for Amazon. This is good news. That's right. That's right. Yeah. They Hell still yeah. got me what I wanted. Yeah. Yep. It's While letting used. you down. Exactly. Which makes it no better gift right. for the giver. Exactly. I like to let people down while also giving them what they want. <laughs> of course if you can pull it off, it's worth it. <laughs> it's a skill. Yeah, it's, it is. All right. So question number five. What number is Mike thinking of? Five. Question number six. What is your go-to jukebox pick? Love potion number five, which you should have asked for number five. Ooh, and the song is "Love, Love Potion" number nine, which proves that I was going to say, isn't it right? Love Potion number say, nine. Yeah, okay. Yep. So I'll tell you the real answer. My favorite go-to jukebox pick has got to be. I like to play Elvis. I like to play Johnny Cash. I like to sometimes just go Earth Angel with it and belt it out in the middle of Mel's Diner. Um, or, I'll, or I'll pull it Beach Boys just to give people a little bit more of a sunny vibe than they were expecting. If I, if it seems like the rooms in, in some doldrums. Nice. So you're, what? You're, what you're makes you? Pleaser, what makes like. you yeah. make that choice as you walk into a room? How do you? How do you look and go? This is an Elvis crowd. This is a Cash crowd. It's just whether I want to be about myself or whether I want to cr- please the crowd that particular day. Gotcha. Um, a lot of the time, I like the crowd to remain sullen so I can be the only happy one. It kind of makes me. Have to have a lower <laughs> level of happiness. That's true. Yeah, that's true. You compare you above. yourself to sadder people. Whereas yeah. if you bring them up, you have to elevate your own game. It depends on how much energy you got that day. Fair. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Thank All right, you. we're already at question number seven. Question Can't number wait. seven is an, an important question right because it. your answer will determine whether you actually get a bonus question or not. Now, okay. we have... Based on the statistics. Yeah, based on purely statistics in our year and a half of existence... Uh, and our many interviews, zero uh, percent right now have not gotten the bonus question. So you would have to do something pretty amazing to blow this. Okay. All right. I can't so, wait. Search your feelings. Listen to your heart. Take some time to think about it, but also totally go with your gut and don't hesitate. How do you feel, Ben Glebe, about garden gnomes? You guys really crossed the line with me there, you know? It's I understand. I understand it's tough for some. We do. <sighs> I didn't know we were gonna be asked about the hot button issues because we, we push the envelope. I get that. I get that. Here's my complicated answer for you. I have not been a favor of garden gnomes in favor of them until my new fiance loves the movie Amelie and it's a garden gnome features heavily in it. And I was yes. trying to embrace the gnome in my life recently because of our impending and now current engagement. And so I have to say, I like garden gnomes. Now I didn't like them before. If it was my choice, I would say no, but as a citizen of the earth and wanting to not anger my fiance, I love them. <laughs> that is a fair answer. That is a fair answer. And I, I, I that is a total think. line answer. I'm going to say, right. It's a total line answer, but it's a fair answer. And I, I appreciate it. And I do think he gets the bonus question. Oh, of course he gets. The bonus so question. great. Here we go, Ben. <laughs> Hold back your a, excitement. It okay. is a multiple choice. Can't wait. Bacon. Woo! <laughs> is it a topping? Is it a side? Or is it a main course? Bacon's a side. You sure about that? Bacon's a side. That's its main purpose. No one orders bacon as a main course. What's so great about it is you can add it to so many things. Um, it sometimes is a topping. It's rarely a main course. I mean, for some, it's a main course, but those people are weak. <laughs> you know? I, I do love that answer. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's the wrong answer, though. Right. Uh, the the well, correct answer gave, is he gave the answer within the answer within the answer, uh, but the answer is D. All of the above. That's all three. It can be all three. But 
in the meantime, when is it a main? When do you ever order bacon as your only BLT, meal? man? Oh, oh, there's is an it, L and a T in there, isn't there? Well, yeah, but what's but the what's, what's the main? What's the headliner? That? What's the headliner of that? It certainly is no, 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 no. That's literally like saying a meat patty. Can it be a main? No, not without bun, lettuce, tomato, cheese, onion. Then it's a main when you make it into a burger. You can't say, oh, it's a main because it can be in a sandwich. I don't know. I've seen people order like a I've, ground steak. I've seen that happen. Yeah. Yeah. I've worked at many a restaurant. I I personally will just take bacon off the uh off the little plate after it's saturated the uh the little paper towel and just so I'm gonna if go I'm at a holiday inn in the morning, I'm gonna go to the bacon area first before anybody gets all that shit from me before I worry about their crappy eggs. You can also oh, you go to the ballpark. First. You just said first. Well, it's the main event. No, people start with starters. Oh, son of a bitch. Wow. Loopholes. Son of a bitch. Yeah. All right, we're ending this early. I don't mean to tell you your business here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you are, you do. That's, that's what you're here for. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, anyway, Ben, please tell everybody who's consuming Bacon is my podcast where they can find you and all things Ben Glebe. Uh, you can follow me on the onlines on the internet and on the social medias at Ben Glebe, G-L-E-I-B. Uh, I'm on there a lot. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. You can subscribe to my podcast, Last Week on Earth, where I can fill you in on the news and my opinions on it. We're currently in hiatus between seasons, but we're launching again soon. So get in there ready, get ready, get prepared for my take on the news. Some people get their entire news from my podcast. And while I admire those people, it's also the wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> and I do a weekly virtual show called Glebe Off the Top Crowd Work and Improvise Madness at Nowhere Comedy. You can join from your computer or phone from anywhere on earth. Tickets to all these things at BenGlebe.com. Be part of my weird magical magical swings. Easy for you to say. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Easier <laughs> than you imagine. And in the meantime, before you do that uh please make sure you check out that stuff but then yeah. also come and hang out with us on monday when we get to hang out and talk to ben but until then always ask yourself the most important question that you'll ever ask yourself exactly what's that thing what's that thing that makes your life better what's that thing that makes your day better what's that mean the thing that you like what makes that thing that you like even better right what's your bacon it's a metaphor motherfuckers and as a test What's your bacon?